Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad that you're here this afternoon. Uh, thank you for taking time uh, to join with us this uh, this afternoon uh, in God's Word. Pray that God would uh, use it in a special way. But let's pause now. Of course, before we get started, we always want to pray and seek God's help. As we pray this uh, this afternoon, uh, we want to remember not just to pray uh, for for our time of devotion and of for revival. We want to pray for a special young man. His name is Benjamin Lapat. Uh, he and his family are are just wonderful members of our church. We love Ben dearly, but he's in surgery uh, here today uh, to help uh, with some of his uh, his spine problems. But uh, we're praying for him, and uh, let's pray together and ask God for His blessing, shall we? Heavenly Father, we love you and we thank you for your love and care for us in our lives. And Lord, our prayer today is that you would bless our time of devotion as we spend some time in your word today. God, we pray that you'd encourage our hearts and help us, Lord, uh, to grow closer to you and have a deeper faith and trust and confidence in you. Lord, we pray that you would send us revival. Oh, Lord, we're thankful for the promises of your word. Now, Lord, there are many things that uh, you tell us in the Old Testament concerning revival. And Lord, we're thankful that you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And God, that you are our God. And Lord, that uh, your promises apply to us as well. But Lord, we also thank you for Ben. And we pray that his surgery would continue to go well. Uh, Lord, that you would uh, help everything go smoothly this uh, today. And that he'd come through the surgery strong. And Lord, that uh, the recovery would be quick and, uh, and just very easy uh, and complete. But Lord, we trust you for all of that. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, if you have your Bibles today, please turn with me, please, to Psalm chapter number 47. Psalm 47. Uh, we come, we find a very encouraging psalm today. And really, they're all encouraging because uh, they all reflect uh, the goodness and grace of God in our lives. But notice what the Bible says, beginning in verse number one. And uh, if you're if you're joining us on our Facebook page or YouTube channel, thank you for taking time. Please like, share, subscribe to these posts so that we can spread the word of God and reach other people with the gospel. But the Bible says, "Clap your hands, all ye people! Shout unto God with the voice of triumph." Why why can we clap? Why can we shout? Why can we praise the Lord? Why can why can we enjoy tr uh, moments of triumph in our lives. Well, the Bible says, notice, for the Lord most high is terrible. Not terrible in a sense of awful, uh, but terrible in a sense of, of awesome. And uh, he's, he's he, our minds cannot fathom the greatness of our God. And the Bible says he is a great king over all the earth. He is the king over all the earth. It says he shall subdue all the, uh, subdue the people under us, the nations under our feet, he shall choose our inheritance for us. The excellency of Jacob, whom we love, whom he loved, Selah. Pause and just think about the greatness and goodness of God in your life and how through the Lord you are able to triumph. Uh, the Bible says, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Uh, the Bible says in verse number five, God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet, sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises unto our King, sing praises. We, we worship the Lord for how good He is, uh, for what He's done, how faithful He is, how loyal and kind and, and compassionate and generous He is to us. And the Bible says, for God is the King of all the earth. We look back and uh, in verse 2 it says, He is a great King over all the earth. But in verse number 7 the Bible says, for He is the King of all the earth. Sing, pray, sing, ye, uh, sing ye praises with understanding. But notice in verse number 8, and this is where I'd like to focus here for just a moment this afternoon. The Bible says, God reigneth over the heathen. But notice, if you have a pen, take it out and mark the statement here, uh, the closing statement in verse 8. It says, God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. We look back even in verse um, number two, and we're told that God is terrible. Uh, he's awesome. He, uh, he's, uh, we cannot comprehend uh, the greatness of our God. The, perhaps the greatest defining 
uh, attribute or characteristic of God is his holiness. And God sits on the throne, right? There's no question the Lord God, he's sovereign. Uh, He rules in the affairs of man. God is so sovereign that he is able to give you and me uh, free will and still get what uh, still get done what he wants to accomplish. That is how great our God is. But we look and we understand his holiness. He sits on the throne in his sovereignty. He rules and reigns the kingdoms of men. Even even Nebuchadnezzar understood that. And Daniel was Daniel chapter seven. Uh, but we find that that God sitteth upon the throne. Yes, he's in control, but what kind of throne is he sitting upon? He's sitting upon a throne of his own holiness. What does that mean? Well, well, God is holy, right? He's sinless. Uh, he cannot lie. He loves us. He's righteous. He's just. Uh, every God is good. And because he's sitting upon a throne of his own holiness, it means everything that God does, he does right. He, that he does well. And that he does out of love, care, and concern for you and me. That God makes no mistakes. What his will is, is right. You know, we cannot argue against it. All we must do is embrace it. Because we know that God is holy and he will never do what is wrong. And that's why we can praise the Lord today. That's why we can sing praise to our King. So where are you in this moment of your day? What has befallen you today? What have you, what are you facing today? What is it that lies ahead for you today? What has happened in the past? Well, we look back and we rejoice in the goodness and sovereignty of God because whatever God has done in your life is, is a holy act. It's, it, he's done it in his own righteousness, in his own holiness, and it's good and it's beneficial for us. And the only thing we can do is step back, rest in him, and sing praise to his name. Because the Bible says, again, in verse number 47, you know, understanding that God sits upon the throne of his holiness, we we can therefore clap our hands and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. God wins. Aren't you thankful? Let's rejoice in the holiness of our God today as he rules in the affairs of our lives and of this world. It says, God reigneth over the heathen, Right? But God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. God rules. God reigns. What he does is right. Let's trust in him and praise him for it. Father, we love you. And we thank you for this day. Uh, Lord, we're thankful for who you are, God, and, and, and what you are. Yes, Lord, we know that you're the king over all the earth, but you're holy. And you sit upon the throne of your holiness. And God, you do all things well. You do all things right. You never make a mistake. You never do what's wrong. God, you always do what is right. Therefore, our hope is in you. Lord, we can clap our hands and we can shout unto you with a voice of triumph. Lord, we're thankful for the confidence that we have in our terrible, awesome God. Lord, we pray today that you would encourage our hearts and strengthen us and help us live our lives for you. Again, Father, we pray for Ben. And his surgery be with the doctors and all those attending there to him today, uh, that you would give them great skill uh, and ability far beyond their own, far beyond what their education and, and countless hours of practice have given. Lord, we ask that you would give them skill, precision, and God, that you'd strengthen Ben, that everything would go well today uh, in his life. And Lord, we just trust you for it. Uh, Lord, we're thankful for the promises of your word. Help us cling wholeheartedly to them. And Lord, we trust you for a great rest of our day. Bless us now, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for being with us today. As always, it's a wonderful pleasure to have you here. We don't take uh, your time lightly. And uh, of course, there's a great many things you all could do, but it's an honor that you join us in God's word. We love you. We're praying for you. And we look forward to seeing you soon. May God give you a great day today. And Lord willing, we'll see you all tomorrow. God bless you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.